Deep in the forest, creatures still roam free, but they hear the engines of a nearby city revving as they look to expand and take over the forest. Can these forest creatures learn enough lore to incur the favor of the elementals that still roam the land, or will the city take over the shrines and havens for themselves? This is Haven, which was designed by Alf Siegert and published by Red Raven Games. Hey everyone, my name is Mike Murphy of the Brothers Murph. I'm here at Board Game Geek, and today's episode of In Focus is sponsored by the Board Game Geek store. Now the conflict is already underway, so let's get down to the table to go a little more in focus on Haven. Haven is a two-player tug-of-war game where you will try to build shrines, gain lore, and reclaim the havens among the forest. Each round will center on trying to gain influence over various elements of the game. On your turn, you will do two actions, which can include playing or removing seekers from lore tokens, or playing lore power cards, which will have one-time benefits and then are discarded. Your seekers will be the ones who help claim the forest. If at the end of a round, one or more lore tokens have three offerings, you will resolve them. At this point, Seekers will be placed face up and combat will ensue. The player with more weapons showing on their Seeker cards will win combat and place a shrine where the matching elemental stands on the board. If this gives a player a majority of shrines surrounding one or more havens, they will place a haven token which will be worth a point at the end of the game. The player who lost combat will relocate the elemental to any unoccupied shrine to be claimed later. Now we've done the combat, but have we learned the lore of the forest yet? In addition to having potential weapons, Seekers will have a lore value, and if your Seekers have a majority of lore, you will claim the lore token, which will be worth a point at the end of the game. If your Seekers' total value exceeds the lore value on the token, however, you have angered the Elementals by being too presumptuous and you will lose all Seekers on that lore token site. The game will end when one or more Elementals have to be removed from the board because there are no more Shrine spaces or when one of the lore token stacks depletes. At that time, you will gain points for each of your Shrines and Haven tokens on the board. You will also gain bonuses for having a majority of lore in each of the elemental types, and the player who places the most Haven tokens awakens the Haven Guardian and gains a powerful ally. The player with the most points either defends or claims the forest for their own. Haven is a tough battle over highly contested lands with beautiful art by Ryan Lockett which really sets the stage, and if you want to deepen your experience with Haven you can add in a whole ton of advanced variants. And if Haven seems like a game you'd enjoy, consider checking out its page at BoardGameGeek.com where you can find forums, reviews, and much, much more. If you're looking to upgrade your next game night, go ahead and go to the Board Game Geek store to get some of those geek up bits for all of your games. And until next time, I'm Mike Murphy, I've been here at Board Game Geek, and we've been going in focus on Haven. Have a great day.